definitely packed sandwich absolutely loaded with protein and vegetables. Why do you have an entire two pounds of chicken to make pizza? Well, it's gonna be a chicken-based pizza. Here we have our four zucchini boats by the oven. You can really stuff it with whatever meat you want. What's going on everybody? It's Jack, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we've got a full day of eating, extra low calories, but super high in protein. First, we're gonna start off with a breakfast sandwich. I'll go ahead and explain the ingredients real quick and then we'll actually make it. But we're gonna have some egg whites, 150 grams of egg whites. We're gonna do one tablespoon of this pico de gallo, this is just leftover tomatoes, a little bit of cilantro, all that good stuff. We're gonna use two slices of low calorie bread, one slice of mild cheddar, two ounces of our deli meat. This is just buffalo chicken. Use whatever deli meat you want. And then a handful of spinach. Basically it's gonna be an egg white cheese deli meat vegetable breakfast sandwich. But let's head over to the stove and get cooking. One of the big keys to making this sandwich is to cook your eggs low and slow. So essentially what we're gonna do, pour the egg whites in, add our two pieces of bread on top of the egg whites, finish cooking those, flip it, add our ingredients, fold up the eggs, fold up the sandwich, and then we're good to go. But to start, we're gonna add 150 grams of egg whites to a medium low pan with a little bit of olive oil on it to help it not stick. Now we've got our egg whites in our pan. We're gonna let that cook low and slow. Once we can kind of see it starting to cook along the edges, we'll add our bread to let it soak in a little bit before we flip it. Now we've let our eggs finish cooking, the bread kind of soaked in, it's time for the flip. This is a little bit tricky, so you wanna make sure your eggs are fully cooked before you do this or else they'll break apart. But I'll do my best to show you guys and hopefully we're successful, fingers crossed. As you guys just saw, of course we had a successful flip. Magician in the kitchen right here. Now we're gonna basically let this cook for a little bit, let the toast brown up, and then we're gonna plate the rest of our ingredients right on top of the eggs. Now we've got our ingredients on the sandwich. It's time to kind of basically fold the eggs in and then fold the bread over to make the sandwich. I'll show you guys how to do that the best I can. Now I've got the sandwich made. As you saw, it was a little bit trickier than I would have liked, but we got the job done. It's a definitely packed sandwich, absolutely loaded with protein and vegetables here, but we're gonna let it cook on this side real quick, give it a flip, let it toast to the other side of the bread, and then we'll serve it. Here we have our final product, our breakfast sandwich. Looks absolutely delicious. But of course, the best thing about a sandwich is when you cut it and show what's inside. So of course we gotta go with a diagonal cut. Look at that. This might be one of my best breakfast sandwiches I've ever made, to be completely honest. I do this quite a bit, and I don't pay as much attention when I'm not filming, I will say that, but my eggs are kind of all over the place. I mean, that looks absolutely delicious. Although it looks really good, it's all about the taste. So let's give it a quick taste test. It passes the taste test too. That's so good, but before I get too far into the sandwich, Let's go to the macros. They're super good. So this sandwich, two slices of low calorie bread, the egg whites, cheese, deli meat, spinach, and pico de gallo is 324 calories. This entire sandwich, 324 calories. And guess how much protein? 39 grams. So it's 21 grams of carbs, nine grams of fat, and 39 grams of protein. That is absolutely stellar in my opinion. And this is also something you can definitely spice up. You can pick whatever cheese you want. You can pick the bread you want if you want higher calorie bread. You can really, you could use whole eggs rather than just egg whites. A breakfast sandwich is something you can definitely play around with. Use whatever vegetables you want to fill it with. Like I said, I had spinach and a little leftover pico de gallo. You can really add tomato slices if you want. You could add cucumbers, whatever you want. But 324 calories, 39 grams of protein. Absolutely delicious. Doesn't take long at all. The bread has a nice crisp crunch on top. You can't hear, but I can feel it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, and I'll see you guys at meal number two. As you guys saw, Maisie just sitting here the whole time. Of course, we got Feed the Beast, so real quick, I have a little bit of egg and cheese left. We're gonna feed that to her. Wait. You sit, 
shake? I don't know. Good girl. Ready? Yeah! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Now, I'll see you guys at meal number two. And the time has come for meal number two. We're gonna be making pizza. And I'm sure, Jack, why do you have an entire two pounds of chicken to make pizza? Well, it's gonna be a chicken-based pizza. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some cheese, chicken, seasonings, mix it up, and that's basically gonna be our crust or our base. And we're gonna add a bunch of toppings, our pepperoni, well actually not pepperoni, we're using bacon, and then our sauce on top of that. So we're gonna take 12 ounces of our chicken, one serving of our pizza blend cheese, a little bit of our Lowry seasoning, mix it up in a bowl, and then make our crust right here on our pizza tray. So we've got our chicken here on our cookie tray, baking sheet, pizza tray, whatever you want to call it. Another thing you can do to make sure you have a nice thin layer, like you want it to be like a crust. So I'm gonna take another piece of parchment paper, place it over top. You only need a second tray for this. Kind of place that down, you can kind of press it. This will just get a nice thin layer. Keep your hands from getting too dirty. Kind of press it down. Take a look. Awesome, that looks a lot better. I think we can press it down even a little bit more. Work your hands around, make it nice and flat. Once you have that, this is clean. Don't need to clean that because the parchment paper was right there. I'm gonna set that down. Let's just go ahead and be trash. Now we have our nice pizza crust, or I guess we call it like a chicken crust. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven at 450 for 12 to 15 minutes, somewhere around there. We just wanna cook this before we add all of our toppings. Just took our pizza crust out of the oven after 450 for 15 minutes. Next thing we gotta do, we've gotta add our toppings. So we're gonna start with a serving of a half of this lower calorie traditional sauce. We're gonna do two servings of our pizza blend cheese. Then we're gonna do about 35 grams of mushrooms, a little bit of cut up spinach, and then three slices of turkey bacon. Now we've got all of our toppings on our pizza. We're gonna go back in the oven at 450 for about eight to nine minutes. All right, just pulled the pizza out after another eight minutes in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and let this cool off, cut it, and then dig in. We've let our pizza cool off a little bit, cut it up into pieces. You guys can see it right there. But before you guys ask, this is not a pickup friendly pizza. We are gonna have to use some utensils for it, but nonetheless, it tastes just as good. Boom, nice slice right there. Um, it's pretty good. The one thing that you could do, if you have a little more calories, you could add some breadcrumbs to the chicken, maybe make it a little bit crispier. This is pretty much just baked chicken on the bottom. So it's not super firm or crispy, but it gets the job done. I'm sure you guys are dying to know what are the macros. For this entire pizza, it is 810 calories, 22 grams of carbs, 32 grams of fat, and 107 grams of protein. So if you want to cut it in half, it'll be 405 calories, 11 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat, and 50, what, three or four grams of protein, however you want to split it up. But I'm going to eat the whole thing now. Good split up into two meals, but I'm just gonna do it in one, rest, relax for a little bit, let this digest, and we've got our workout. And then after our workout, we have our third and final meal of the day, some zucchini boats, stay tuned for those, absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and dig into the rest of this, and I'll see you guys at meal number three. Alrighty, it's time for meal number three. Just worked out, ignore how sweaty I am. I need to eat and then I'm gonna shower. But first things first, we're gonna make some zucchini boats. I already cut up two zucchinis, scraped out the seeds, as you can see here, pretty much making our zucchini boat we're gonna fill up. This is a great recipe because you can really throw whatever you want in it. Any kind of meats, toppings, whatever you have left over in your fridge. For me, that happens to be some pulled pork. So here we have 100 grams of pulled pork. We've got one serving of our shredded cheese. This is that Mexican style reduced fat. We're gonna use a little bit of pico de gallo, some cut up spinach we have, and then a little bit of a bean puree. This is just a black bean puree. So we're gonna use some of that. We're gonna be using 70 grams of our black bean puree. So first things first, let's get our pulled pork in there. 
our black beans, pico, and then we'll top it with our cheese and spinach. So that's what our zucchini boats are looking like now. We'll throw these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Check at 20 minutes if they need a little bit longer. Let them go a little bit longer and then we'll have our dinner. And then always take whatever time something's cooking to clean up your kitchen. That way you're not wasting any time. Here we have our four zucchini boats out of the oven. 400 for 20 minutes was just about perfect. Then we're gonna have to plate these, let them cool down and then dig in. Our zucchini boats are now cooled off. The macros for these and the zucchinis came out to be just over 200 grams once I dug out the seeds. It comes out to be 485 calories for all four, 24 grams of carbs, 24 grams of fat, and 43 grams of protein. A delicious meal right here. We're gonna top it off with a little bit of Cholula hot sauce because you can never have too much spice, right? No, you can, but I think this will just add a little bit of flavor. Nothing crazy, boom, just like that. So real quick, we'll do a taste test. Another winning dish. Guys, the best part about this, you can really stuff it with whatever meat you want. Oh gosh. All right, um, you can put whatever proteins you want on top of the vegetables. That's a better way to say it. But just like the stuffed peppers, these are just stuffed zucchinis pretty much. I have some lean protein, a little bit of beans, all the good stuff. But you can really put whatever you want in it, make it your own, make it higher calorie, lower calorie. So much to do here, but this is what I did. And it's absolutely delicious. Doesn't take too much time. Just put it together and bake it. Real quick, we'll go over the total calories for the day, right at 1,600. So it was 1,619 calories, 67 grams of carbs. Yes, I know that's super low. Before you guys got to run to the comments, it is low for me, yes. 67 grams of carbs, 65 grams of fat, and 189 grams of protein. Overall, super high protein. Carbs could have been a little bit higher, fats could have been a little bit lower. In my opinion, as a whole, three very filling meals. Lots of variety, lots of vegetables, micronutrients for sure, and they're all delicious. I'm gonna go ahead, dig in, finish up this, and that'll wrap up today's full day of eating. Make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.